Thank you very much. Thanks for having us here. So we have two great people here, two inspiring people to tell their stories, their ups and downs of the industry. And first we've got a, a cool guy, George Pap George Papawanu from Six Penny. He is a restaurant manager of one of the best restaurants in the city. And uh, he's got a great story. So please welcome George. Thank you, George. Thank you, Steve. Thanks for coming here, mate. That's all right. I feel like uh, Cardi B in the scene. Hello! Very cool. Oh, did it work? All right. I thought that would have broken the ice. <laughs> <laughs> Who's, who, who is that again? Cardi B. Okay. Which is a rapper. Yeah, right. Cool. <laughs> can you rap? No, I'm not going to rap. No. You can rap, though. Well. Carry on. Yeah. 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 Late at night after work. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, George, tell us, I mean, why did you get into this business? You run uh, a restaurant that's great, fantastic, but why did you start in this business? Why did I start? I mean, when I was young, to be honest, food has been a part of my entire life. Uh, and to have the opportunity to work in an industry where I can express my passion for food, but also for people, it's, it's actually really amazing. And, I, and like you said before, you know, it's a day, a day in your life, well, Currently, I'm never working a day in my life, so, you know. Yeah, right, cool. So, you're originally from Melbourne. What was the first p position there? And, and tell us how you got it. Uh, my first position, well, I mean, just, uh, just a waiter, really. Well, not just a waiter. <laughs> but a uh, waiter was my first position. Uh, working in a function hall. Yeah. Uh, I got that through a family friend, and then ever since then, uh, I just kept going with it, really. And, and why did you move to Sydney then? Why did I move to Sydney? Uh, well, for the opportunity to manage a restaurant. I mean, it's my first management position, so... Uh, You're pretty um, young still. I am, 22. 22, wow. Well. Uh, so uh, I found what I loved and I, I just just went full in. Did you, did you like school? Did I like school? I really enjoyed school. I went to... I really enjoyed school and I went all the way into uni. I was doing accounting at RMIT in Melbourne. Uh, and while I was working ac in accounting, I... I was working at a restaurant just to like just to give me some funds as well, um, and I, the manager there at, at, at Luxembourg where I was working, he was a person that made me fall in love with hospitality. So, like before the, the jobs before I had before when I was just working in uni, when I was, when I was at uni I was just working. Uh, they were just they were jobs until I found my passion, and that was was hospitality. So you were, you were studying to be an accountant? I was studying to be an accountant. And you became a waiter? I did, yes. <laughs> okay, right. Um, that's a, it's a big shift, isn't it? It is, yeah. So, so what was that one thing that made you forget about accounting where you probably could have made a million dollars or whatever? I can still make millions of dollars. <laughs> You're very good at good accounting. <laughs> yeah. You can. But, I mean, that's not your goal, is it? No, no. definitely not. I mean, I just... It's just so fun. It's uh, the people you meet uh, and the experiences you can have in hospitality. It's it's why I love the industry so much. Hmm. And and do you th you know you see it now as a full time career? Definitely. Where, yeah. Where, where, from from a waiter to a restaurant manager. Where what's your next step? What's my next step? My next step is to learn. Uh, I think I I think I did move pretty quickly in terms of jumping to restaurant manager. Um, well, what's the difference? What from waiter to restaurant manager? Where do you just turn up? You serve a few people. Is you that do. It? You make, manage, make some good tips. You do, yeah, you do. You make some good tips. But I mean, like, you, you manage a small amount of people, um, and that's just the customers. Whereas, as a restaurant manager, you're not only managing the entire restaurant, you're not only managing all the customers that come through the through the door. You're managing the people that work in the building, uh, trying to work with them to make sure the ex the customer's experience is the best you can give them. Uh, and you're not only, and well, actually, yeah, that's pretty much it. And, and where do you see yourself going after the restaurant manager position? After restaurant um, manager. You know, do you, do you well, I mean, I hope to own my own place one day. Really? That's yeah, the goal? I do. Well, I, I really do. Uh, I really want my name on the door somehow, but uh, we'll get there. But at the time, at this moment in time, like that's my goal, but how I get there is I'm still trying to figure that out. And do you think it's important to set goals in the industry, you know, for, Definitely. for young people just coming into it or thinking about coming yeah, into it? Yeah, of course. I mean, like, that's important and in any industry you, you apply yourself in. You have to set goals because without the goals, you're not going to progress. 
Like, I mean, you can't just float along. You have to really want to want to be somewhere. And like the hours that you do now at 22, yes. when you're young, do, what, what do you think, um, you know, the, the industry sometimes has a bit of negativity about long hours yeah. and not great pay. But how do you, you know, how can you sell that as a better story? Because you, you're, you're doing it. <laughs> yeah, I, am, you, well, yes, I, I mean, I am working quite long hours. Yeah, but, the thing, but you love it, don't you? Exactly. I mean, like, it's... I don't, I don't feel tired. I, although yes, I'm like, like physically, yes, it's quite uh, demanding work, but the rewards you get from it uh, and the feedback you get, uh, that's what makes it all worth it. Right, and, and so dining experience, which is really important, and being a restaurant manager in front of the house, because after we're gonna talk to a chef, back of house and, and, and the ins and outs of cooking, but the, what's the ultimate dining experience? For you, and, and what do you look to give to the customer? How, how do you look? You know, when a customer walks in and then leaves, what do you want them thinking when they walk away? Obviously, you want them to come back. Exactly. Well, I mean, that's the main goal: is you want them to come back, come back, and uh, and keep them coming back for the, the rest of the time the restaurant's open. Really. Uh, I mean, the ultimate dining experience. I mean, if they just generally just love everything. Uh, and they want to tell other people about it, that would be the goal of having someone come into your restaurant. Uh, have you had a really bad experience with a customer? With a customer? Yeah. Uh, I mean, yes, it happens. Uh, and you do, have to, you do have to deal with those things. Uh, but I mean, at the end, like you said before, um, you always try and turn the negative into a positive. Uh, and we have seen that customer return. Uh, and they've been really happy with... Uh, but they've got it back uh, from the restaurant. Yeah, cool. So, celebrity chefs, you know, they're everywhere, they're on yeah. TV and all that sort of stuff, which is great. And, you know, everyone talks about chefs. Yeah. Maybe. But tell us why waiters and front of house, barmen, service staff, um, restaurant managers are so important as well. Yeah. Well, I think that, well, I think like, well, with chefs especially, I mean, food's so tangible. I mean, it, it can be constructed in front of you, it's a physical thing, you can, you can touch, you can smell, you can eat, you can see. Uh, but I mean, service. Service is, it's, it's intangible. It varies from person to person, from table to table, from, from, uh, from different experiences. Uh, and, a, like, and a front of house team is the connection. It's, it's the connection between the kitchen, the food that's on the plate, and the person that walks to the door. The, the, the experience doesn't start when they walk the door, it starts from when they're trying to make a reservation at the restaurant. But they call the restaurant, they email the restaurant, they make a reservation through a website. The first person they're talking to is the, is the person that works on the floor, the waiter, the restaurant manager, the, uh, the supervisor, the sommelier. They're the people, they're the first contact. They create the first experience, even before they even order something off the menu. So before you said you sort of love food, and that's kind of why you got into the industry. Yeah. So why didn't you cook? Why did you become? Why didn't I cook? Yeah. People ask that all the time. I love to cook at home, and it's it's probably because I just love to have a glass of wine while I cook, and it's not really acceptable in the kitchen. So uh, that's probably why. R really? Yeah. <laughs> Would you consider cooking? Well, you know, I you... Always, do you know what? I always help out in the kitchen as much as I can uh, with their prep if they need if they need help, uh, even if that I'm. Like, if they, even if they want me to plate a dish, like a, a simple dessert they want me to do, like the cake, they would, the birthday cake they would send out at dinner at the menu for someone's birthday. I mean, I can, I can do those simple things. I mean, more technical things, maybe not, but, uh, but yeah, as much as I can, I would like to. Yeah, cool. Uh, so you can cook, you can serve, and you can wrap, apparently. Yeah, well, <laughs> on special days. Yeah. Right, cool. Um, so, uh, a couple of years ago, six year, uh, 16 and 17, you entered an awards program called Appetite for Excellence. I did, yeah. Why did you enter an award program, and what was what was in, in that for you? Uh, so uh, I entered it because oh well I was actually approached by my restaurant manager that I was working with uh, in Melbourne, and she was like, "I think you'll be great for this. I think you should really go for it." Uh, and I was just reading into it, and I was like, "The opportunity to meet people from all around Australia, uh, all around Australia that you have the same interests with, is is something that you can't pass up." So uh, like going to New South Wales and meeting other young waiters, young chefs, and and people that own restaurants, uh, 
that opportunity was yeah, was pretty good. Yeah, cool. So um, this is a good story and, and, and a pleasant story because you've you've you fell into something you love and enjoy yeah. and you hopefully will con- continue. So does anyone have any questions for George? And this is probably where you all go quiet, but now is a good time to ask George or myself any questions about the industry, um, front of house wise. Anyone? Really? Come on, give me one. No. Oh, there we go. We yeah. got one. On average, how many hours a week would you work? On average, George, <laughs> how many hours a week would you work? I would say maybe fifty-five to fifty-eight hours a week. Is that all? <laughs> I'm jo- no, I'm yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's yeah. But that's because I like. I also work on my days off as well. So uh, it's just because I want to. And there's, uh, there, there likes different, you know, you work nights as well. I do, yeah, and exactly. Weekends. So, I mean, like, I'm starting at, like, one o'clock in the afternoon and finishing one o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Um, so, uh, that's, that's probably why. <laughs> yeah, right. So, if you had one bit of advice for all these kids now, what would your advice be to them about our industry and, and to get into our industry? Our industry? Uh, it's... It's really an industry that you can actually love. It's, it's really an industry where you can actually go to work and be happy to go to work uh, and want to go to work. You want to go there earlier and you want to you wanna make other people happy through the, thing that, through the things that you love to do the most. Uh, and then, I uh, think that's it. Yeah, really? Yeah. Cool. Well, any more questions for George? There we are. What Gordon Ramsay question? or Jamie Oliver? Oh, Gordon Gordon Ramsay. I mean, he put two slices of bread between on, on the side of someone's face and he called them a shit sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. You like, you like Gordon? Yeah. What do you think about Gordon's kitchen tactics and the way he uh, carries on in the kitchen? Well, do you, do you I encourage mean, that? No, no, definitely not. I don't encourage that. I mean, but I mean, he does try and inspire, although like he does put, uh, put things on TV. Um, I really think he really does care about like he really does care about what he, he does and what he thinks about people. So, and wh- wh- what do you what do you think about Jamie Oliver? Jamie Oliver, uh, I mean, he's a good guy. He has a cooking show. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> Have you met him? No, I haven't met. Have Jamie you met Oliver. Gordon? No. <laughs> okay, cool. Cool. Any more questions? Yes. What's the most challenging thing of being a restaurant manager? People. Uh, I mean, it's your job, uh, but uh, people are so unpredictable uh, and they can make your job challenging, uh, but it's, they're the most rewarding as well because when you overcome those challenges, that's when you feel, that's when you get gratification out of what you do. Hmm. Staff? Or Staff, people. yeah, well, people, yeah. So, yeah. In, all, in, all, in all aspects, yeah, from customers to staff, yeah. uh, to suppliers as well. Yeah. Cool. Any more? Okay. Uh, yeah, We've got one more. Why did you choose accounting and then I actually really enjoyed accounting. <laughs> I know that sounds strange. Um, I was actually really quite good at it when I was uh, studying... Uh, well, I'm from Melbourne, so what do you call it here? HSE? Do you call it, uh, we call it VC, yeah, HSE. Um, so I really enjoyed it, and I really enjoyed all those aspects, and business management, and, and, and those type of business subjects. Uh, but I mean, it, it's just like, I could apply those principles that I learned in, in those subjects, and apply them to something I love, like food and, and, and service, and, and mend those two worlds together. Hmm, cool. Wow. I love your shoes, by the way, too. Thank you so much. Big <laughs> round of applause for George.